Hey everyone. Today, we're diving into something every aspiring cybersecurity pro needs to understand, the OSI model. It might sound like a dry tech term, but trust me, once you get it, everything about networks starts to make sense. Let's start with the big picture. OSI stands for Open Systems Interconnection. It's a conceptual framework used to understand how different networking protocols interact. Think of it like a layered cake. Each layer has a specific job, and together they let data travel from one device to another across the world. There are seven layers in the OSI model. Each one represents a step that data goes through as it moves from your computer to another, or vice versa. We'll go through them one by one from the top down. First up, the application layer. This is where you, the user, interact with the network. Every time you open a web browser, send an email, or download a file, you're using this layer. It provides the interface and services like HTTP, SMTP, and FTP. Next is the presentation layer. Imagine this as the translator of the OSI model. It makes sure the data is in a readable format for the application layer. This includes encryption, compression, and translating data formats like JPEG or ASCII. Then comes the session layer. This layer is like the event planner. It manages the start, maintenance, and end of communication between two devices. It ensures that both sides are properly connected and can resume communication if interrupted. Now onto the transport layer. Think of it as the post office. It ensures that the data sent is received accurately and in order. It uses protocols like TCP and UDP to manage things like data flow control and error checking. Next is the network layer. If the transport layer is the post office, the network layer is the GPS. It decides the best path for data to travel across the network using IP addresses. Routers work at this layer. Then we have the data link layer. This layer handles the actual movement of data between devices on the same network. It packages the data into frames and deals with MAC addresses, switches, and physical addressing. At the bottom is the physical layer. This is the hardware side, cables, switches, and electrical signals. It's all about the transmission and reception of raw bits over a physical medium. So how do these layers work together? Imagine sending a letter. You write it, application, format it neatly, presentation, start a conversation with the recipient, session, ensure it's properly divided and tracked, transport, figure out the best route, network, place it in an envelope with an address, data link, and finally put it in the mail truck, physical. And when the letter arrives, the receiving device goes through the exact same layers, but in reverse from physical all the way back to application. Why is this important? Because understanding the OSI model helps you troubleshoot issues, understand how data moves, and know where to secure your network. For instance, a firewall might operate at the network layer, while SSL encryption happens at the presentation layer. And remember, while the OSI model is theoretical, it's the foundation for real-world models, like TCP IP. Knowing OSI makes understanding those easier too. There you have it. A clear, simple breakdown of the OSI model and its seven layers. It's not just a diagram you memorize, it's a map for how the internet works. Give us a like and hit subscribe for more cybersecurity tips. Catch you next time.